Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and I've got the whale shark here today. Cut. Okay. Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and I've got the big tuna here today. Cut. Alright. Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and I've got the Beretta ARX with me today. That's it. I was not expecting to be a left hand eject. Guys, it's a Beretta ARX100, and I'm just feeling like a Beretta kind of day. I've got my M9A3 on me even, because why not? But uh, I gotta tell you, my initial impression of the ARX was, what is this thing? All polymer, kind of funky looking, and uh, I didn't know what to think about it. And whenever you put a mag in it, it just looks like it's, you know, eating that mag. Like, oh, it's pretty funny, but uh, it takes some getting used to, I think. But I gotta tell you, I think this is actually the most modular and most ambi-friendly or ambidextrous firearm I've ever shot before. And you probably noticed that whenever I did my mag dump with it, the left hand ejection actually caught me off guard some. Uh, but Breda took that and everything in mind and said, that's okay, if you want to be right hand ejection, all you need is a bullet. And you'll notice there's a hole right back here just forward of the stock, right where my finger is here. Same on the reverse. And there's a little tab in there. And if you push it to the opposite side, you might have hear, heard that click. Now it's set up for right hand ejection. So let's go ahead and see if that's true. And uh, I'm gonna save some precious metal here. Let's go ahead and load and make ready here. It does come with one 30 round standard GI style mag. And that's what it takes for GI style mags. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see if it shoots right handed now. Well, those two shots flung the brass forward and right compared to <laughs> the left when I first shot it. So yeah, I would say so far pretty ambi. It does have a 16 inch barrel on it with your standard uh, birdcage style A2 flash hider right up front. And it is a short stroke piston operated system on it. And you'll notice the sling swivel right in front of the yes, tunable gas system right up here. And the gas system is pretty much for standard and non-standard ammo. Uh, not so much for suppression, though I guess you could use it for that. So pretty much if you're shooting a less pressure or lower pressure round, you just take a tip of your bullet into this guy, rotate it, and now you're in to something uh, that'll shoot more effectively with lower pressure rounds. But uh, coming back a little bit further, you do have, again, a pretty much all polymer firearm here. And you've got Picatinny rail, just a small portion right here on the sides, and then of course the full length right up here. Now, you might be looking at this and say, obviously there's more Picatinny rail underneath here, this is just a handguard, but you'd be mistaken. It's actually the attachment for the GLX grenade launcher. Uh, but I'll show you exactly how that comes apart here in just a moment. But I do believe Brett actually makes an accessory for it, so if you wanted to switch it out for full length Picatinny, you can. But I still have a couple rounds left in this mag, let's shoot it some more. All right, now that does have a very low recoil impulse to it, even with it being a polymer and lightweight firearm coming in at under seven pounds. Uh, it feels pretty good to shoot, I gotta tell you. And I still, that right there, that right there is just so neat how you can change which side the brass is ejecting that easily. What about the charging handle, right? Because the uh, charging handle, Right now it's on the left hand side of the gun. Let's say I wanted to move it to the right hand side of the gun. How difficult is that? Well, let me just show you. You might notice on both sides, there's a little flat spot right here on the receiver. All you gotta do is line up the charging handle, pull and rotate, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And I'll try to do that the best that I can here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy back, try to line it up best I can. There you go, pull. So that now locks the bolt in position. And then I just take this guy, push all the way around, push back in, and now I've got myself a right hand side charging handle. So if you prefer it on the left, prefer it on the right, the choice is yours. This is truly an all around ambi rifle, which is pretty wild. Coming back a little bit further, you've also got ambi bolt release or bolt catch, mag release. Your bolt catch is right here, 
mag releases right above it and it takes a little bit getting used to because naturally I feel like this right here is my mag release but of course this is a platform that I'm not all that familiar with and I'm familiarizing myself with it now but it makes it really easy to lock the bolt open just like that and of course that's on both sides as you can see here there it is easy day so yeah so it's got your ambi bolt release on the right hand side and the left hand side that you'll see right here and it goes forward just as i push down on that well push down now push up to lock it back it does have your ambi mag release right here and same position on the other side pretty nice coming back of course with that ambi ejection you've got a brass deflector on this side same with that side it does have a collapsible stock as well and then it has a little latch and all you do is just pull that pull it down and it locks into place same thing to extend it pull down and open and it locks right into place and of course it's adjustable so right there shortest length of pull longest length of pull and areas in between as well now this does look a little bit shorter but beretta does offer longer stocks as well from last i've heard and it's actually super easy to change out you have this one tab right here just push down on that guy and the whole stock just pulls right out very easy to work and maintain on this guy also right before to the stock you do have an ambi safety select as well but uh i can talk a little bit more about it here in just a minute what do you say we shoot some more how about it we've got another mag here this is one of our sure feed mags and i like those quite a bit Kind of got an AK control going on now. That's better. So the trigger also feels really good on this guy. Let's go ahead, let's see where we're at as far as length, uh, just our pull here. There we go, easy in the reset. All right, so it does have a real short audible reset, which I like quite a bit. And I'll go back and show that here and we'll do a little bit of dry firing and ghost it some, uh, just so you guys can see what I'm feeling. And it is actually pretty nice. Yeah, that is sweet. There we are. All right, easy day with this guy. Whole lot of fun to shoot. A little smoky girl we got going on here. So. This is actually growing on me quite a bit, guys. And this is pretty much in use in the Italian Armed Forces. They had it for their future soldier program, or Soldado Futuro, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, my Italians out there that are watching, let me know how my pronunciation went. Anyway, it was originally designed in 2008 and pretty much saw service since then and is continuing to see service under the ARX-160, I think it is. The 100 is pretty much the civilian variant. But uh, pretty cool gun. Let's take it back to the bench and let's show off a little bit more about it and talk some more about it. So talk about a completely ambidextrous, modular, fun shooting, futuristic style rifle that we've got here, guys. And I gotta tell you, like I said, my first impression of it or initial impressions were kind of like, what is this thing? But after shooting it and actually playing with it some and seeing what this is all capable of, it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, so the sights on it, let's go ahead and talk about that because I didn't, I don't think I talked about those just yet. Uh, they are deployable and of course they're just like your regular flip-ups, just like that. Now you'll notice you have little tabs on the right hand side of the flip-ups themselves. Push that inward and they flip right up. To lock them down, just push down and then push on the opposite side inward and now they're locked into place pretty easy no problem whatsoever and allows you to go ahead and throw on whatever type of optic you want to whether it be magnified red dot holographic whatever you want this thing is capable of handling it now like i mentioned before this isn't a picatinny rail that runs under the bottom of this handguard portion here it's actually a mounting system again for the glx 160 which i think that's it anyway it's a glx 160 which is the grenade launcher that's made to adapt to this thing again this is a pretty much a military rifle uh, in all aspects and it's what's used obviously this is a civilian variant but what's used by the italian army or the italian armed forces and in some other countries around the world as well but I can go ahead and show you guys really quick just how to 
or just what exactly is underneath here, you'll notice there's actually just a little bit of plastic right underneath here, or polymer I should say, uh, that's what all this is. And it's actually easier to do with a bullet, but I just used the tip of my nail, flip that up, and now this handguard is gonna slide completely off. And so you'll see that that is not Picatinny right here. That is that mounting system for their GLX grenade launcher. Now, I do believe Brett actually has the accessory out there. So if you wanted Picatinny rail here, so you can throw on any type of vertical grip, angled grip, whatever you want, you can do that right there. And of course, if you want to throw your handguard back on, it just slides on and clicks right into place. Other very neat thing about this gun is the quick change barrel system. You've got what's kind of similar of like a Glock takedown. You got a tab right here and a tab on the other side. Pull these down and that will actually free the barrel to then be removed. And uh, YouTube doesn't like us disassembling and things like that. Firearms and we want to play nice because they've already given us a couple of warnings. So I won't show you the complete disassembly of the firearm here, but let me just say it's super easy. It allows for quick changes of barrels in case they get too hot, things like that. But also too, I believe there's also caliber changes out there. I do believe there are talks of it in 762 by 39, also 300 blackout. And I heard somewhere, at least when these first came out years ago, uh, something about maybe 308 even. So pretty interesting stuff. Again, a completely modular and ambi firearm that they've got set up here. But of course, the ones that we have in stock are the ones chambered in 5.56 with the 16 inch barrel, one and seven twist rate on it, adjustable gas system right up here. Again, it's for high pressure, low pressure ammunition uh, or your standard pressure and then your non-standard which is that lower pressure ammo. Not so much as like a suppressor setup, but knowing me, I'd do it anyway. Uh, Picatinny all the way around, except for just a little bit right on the six o'clock position. Uh, coming back, you've got your sling swivel here. Same thing on the other side, right here as well. And you've got a standard style A2 pistol grip on it. The trigger on it, let's go ahead and talk about that guy some. And just actually to make this a little bit, yeah, that'll, that'll work right there. So you got the ambi safety. Let's go ahead and flip that to fire and BR again clear. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trigger here. You guys will notice that there is pretty much no take up. I'm already feeling like I'm pretty much at the wall. I've got resistance here and then there is the break. So liking that quite a bit. There's no creep or anything. And wow, <laughs> there's that reset. Hello. So let's go ahead and fill that drop again. There it is. Feels a little bit heavier, like maybe about a seven pound, seven to eight pound. And then there's that reset. Talk about a quick reset, audible reset. Definitely liking the way that feels a lot. And I mentioned earlier too, that it does have sling swivels or sling mounting positions all over the place, but also right up front, right in front of the gas system itself, it does have a sling that just rotates 180 degrees, either the left or right side, depending on how you want to have it set up. And it does come with a sling as well, which is pretty cool. Also the takedown on this gun or complete disassembly or just field stripping of it actually just all takes place with in the stock right here. So you just fold the stock back and there's a pretty nifty way of doing it. Pretty much push up on your selector and then there's a button inside here you push and then that allows the whole charging, the bolt, charging assembly, everything just to come right out the back end. Pretty neat stuff. Again, YouTube doesn't like it whenever I uh, show those things. So unfortunately we won't be doing that on camera today. Anyway guys, ultimately what we've got is a Again, super modular, lightweight, fun firearm that the Italians designed. Beretta name, so you already know you're getting a quality firearm for sure. And guys, it is actually a lot of fun to shoot. <laughs> Never mind the, the tuna comment of earlier. So yeah, fun gun to shoot, guys. So check these out again, the Beretta ARX 100 that we have in stock. I don't think you're gonna wanna miss out on this guy. And again, it does come with one 30 round GI mag, and that's the type of mag it takes too, are your standard GI mags. So keep that in mind. And we have these Surefeed still, and I am a big fan of these Surefeed mags. I actually run these a lot as my range mags. So, and they fit, lock up great. Yeah, just really cool firearm and great mags. And they also work really well in our HSGI taco pouches, which I'm a huge fan of as well. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this now. Last rifle I wanna talk about is our current giveaway, which is this long boy, 24 and a half inch chrome line barrel, four by 24 optic on it. This is the Romanian PSL, chambered in 762 by 54R, guys. If you haven't seen our video debuting this as our current giveaway, go check it out. It's actually a pretty good one, I think. 
do a little bit of a close quarter engagement with this guy because why not, right? So go check that out, guys. Head on over to ClassicFirearms.com to get your entries in and to check out our Beretta line of rifles and pistols. Like I said, I've got the M9A3 right here. This thing's fun. All right, I'm gonna close it out there, guys. Hope you guys are all staying safe. God bless, and uh, we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.